The aim of the engineering program in electronic and computer engineering is to produce graduates with the skills and motivation to work in the future careers in the ICT technology area. If you've used modern transport, if you've used a mobile phone, played with the games console, then you should thank an electronic or computer engineer. They've had an active role in the research, the development, the design, probably in the implementation, and even the deployment out to the marketplace of these type of products. This course has largely been developed with industry, so there's a huge, strong industrial involvement in the actual programme content. So the programme content is right up to date. It's actually preparing people for the future, in fact, for the careers in three to five years' time, and even longer term. The first two years are common, so for the first two years, the students take this, the same modules, but they get exposure to all the four streams. So when you come into the first two years, you will get exposure to each computer, robotics, electronics, and electrical energy. So this gives you some of the knowledge that you need to do to actually decide where you want to actually want to work, and also to look at what the career options are in each area. This programme from the outset is based on skills development, so it is supported by very, very strong laboratories tutorials and the lectures themselves. So lectures typically introduce the basic concepts and then they're reinforced by doing practical laboratory work. When the students come in in first year, we introduce the basic concepts of hardware, software and the mathematics behind the electronic systems. In second year, they kind of introduce more design concepts. So after the completion of second year, students typically go on a work placement within a relevant industrial placement. Um, this is a paid placement and generally what happens is they develop or refine the skills they've learned in the first two years. We see a complete transformation of the students from they go out on that work placement until they come back. Um, they are generally very highly motivated, they know exactly their career options that they want to actually pursue, so it's fairly easy for us in third year and fourth year. When they come back in third year, they have the option of specialising in one of the major options, either computer engineering, electronic engineering, robotic engineering or electrical energy engineering. Um, each of these is a different specialisation. The students who take, for example, computer engineering more focus on the software aspects. So what they're generally focusing on is the control and engineering, the logic, the programs that actually control the hardware. The electronic engineers are mainly concerned with the hardware, building circuits, designing circuits, generating ICs, integrated circuits and so on. Uh, robotic engineering, as the title implies, is into robotics, um, concerned with you know, industrial sensors, um, artificial intelligence, vision systems and so on. Within the electrical energy, people are focusing on new technologies, emerging technologies and the control and the automation and management of those technologies. The career pro prospects in this program are absolutely wonderful. Um, internationally, this is a growing area. It has increasing demand year on year and is likely to continue for the long foreseeable future. There are huge opportunities around new technologies, green technologies and energy that are going to provide career options for a lifetime. Within the, the local sector here, there are a number of industries who just cannot fill their undergraduate demands. This means that there are open positions from last year for just graduates. This is an emerging area. There is a currently and in future a skill shortage. This is predicted worldwide. If you actually do this course, you will find an exciting career.